What is up guys, it's Darkie here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, get past the, uh, well, like a solution to get past this sort of error that you'll come across now and again. Um, I know it's in German, but basically, like, it doesn't matter where you're from, like, no matter what videos on YouTube or across the globe or whatever, like, you will encounter this error now and again, and I'm going to show you basically how to get past it, like, and yeah. So I want to, like, quickly thank my friend, uh, Ted, like, he, uh, Help me find one way, like an, one way out of two solutions um, of how to do it, and also thank you for the picture as well, because I never have this error, <laughs> as I'm from like the UK. So you 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 rarely have that error if you're from the UK or anything like that. Um, but it does occur. So I'm gonna quickly show you a few ways. So like I'm gonna put his link in the description for you, just because of credit and everything like that. Um, but I'm gonna show you the first way, um, real quick. It's just how to get past it. I'm also gonna show you that one. Right. Okay. So basically, I'm going to put all the links in the description that you might want. Um, so first off, I'm going to show you Proxy Free. Okay, proxfree.com. Um, so <clears throat> as soon as you come to it, it looks something like this. Okay, so you can like, if something is blocked, like Google is blocked. Okay, you put a Google URL. Uh, URL. Um, and Facebook, obviously the same thing, and YouTube the same thing. So you just click on one of them. Obviously, YouTube is the main one that everyone uses anyway. So you know, you just if you find a video that you cannot watch, you just copy the URL at the top. Um, and then go to where it says da 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 da, da and then paste it and then click prox free. I don't know if that'll work, that'd be a bit weird because it's my page. Um, oh, it does work, it does work. And you see it from a different like sort of angle. But yeah, that's how it basically works. So that's without a download and without any hassle, you just click in what you want and that's basically it. And obviously, you can change where you're from. Um, depends on you know where you want to do it from. Um, so yeah, that's proxfree.com. Uh, the next one I'm going to show you is Proxmate, which uh, my friend Teddy showed me. Uh, this is quite a new one that I found, and it's quite useful actually. It's like really useful. Like if you if you don't mind downloading like a um, or installing another plugin sort of thing, like you can see all my plugins at the top right there. Um, <coughs> then this is the one for you because it's it's really good. Now obviously Proxmate is it'll uh, it'll be one of the things at the top, and every time you come across a video that you can't watch, rather than clicking on Prox Free or going to another website or whatever, it'll automatically um, go to like the video on Prox Free without you even like trying, like without you having to put any effort in, it will just automatically do it without you knowing, basically. So even if it is blocked, you won't even know. It'll just it'll go as a normal video, so you don't even have to worry ever about it. Now it has it for Google Chrome or Firefox. If you're on it in the Explorer, you're gonna have a bad time. But anyway, so I'm on Google. I'm gonna quickly show you how to do it on Google. It'll be pretty much the same on Firefox anyway. So you click it and then you get Let's Go. And then you click download, I've already got it obviously, so you click download proximate.crx file um, and then you click continue and then OK because the things will pop up on your screen. And then you go next step and then I'll show you this next step myself, right, so when you've done that basically you want to go to the very top right into the customize control Google Chrome, you want to go to tools, you want to try and find out your tools and then go to extensions or you can go to settings and obviously just click the extensions above it. It's up to you, like either way you do it, it doesn't really matter. And you'll come to this page where all your extensions are there. If you have any, then obviously they'll be there. If you don't, then don't worry about it, it's cool. Um, but Proximate won't be there straight away. What you have to do is, after you click, oh sorry, I've closed it. After you click the download button, it'll go straight into your obviously downloads or wherever you've put it. So if you quickly find out where you've put it, it should say proximate.crx and it'll just be like a white blank paper. Um, if you bring that up next to the extensions and then like drag and drop, and it'll be like drop to install, you see? Like it's drag to install. So obviously I've already done it, but like you click, you drag it in there, and obviously it'll say blah blah blah. You just accept it, and then obviously it'll be bang straight on there. So then you don't have to worry about any pop like not pop ups, but any um, things not working or anything in that condition. So it's all good. Like it works perfectly. So it's it's really good. Um, and before I go, I'm going to really quickly show you the ad block. Um, just go to YouTube, and I'll show you what I mean. I'll put there. Yeah, there's a link in the description. I'll put that in there, um, so you can just add it to Chrome straight away. Like I'll just put a link in the description. You can go Chrome.com, then obviously just find AdBlock. But I'll put the whole link so you can just go to it. And it'll be AdBlock, and you just add to Chrome. And this, what this will do is like it'll stop advertisements everywhere. You know what I mean? So like it's like it'll be. I don't know, advertisements on YouTube are really bad, so obviously you just you skip them and all that sort of thing. And if you just click on something, obviously it won't have the ad at the start, it won't have like a minute ad that you cannot skip and all that sort of thing, and they'll all be gone, and there'll be no advertisements all over your channel, all that rubbish. So it's all good really, and then obviously you just, you know, you click it if you don't want it on or something. So if I go to pause ad block, okay, 
Now this is where it gets funky. So if I go pause ad block, so obviously I don't have it basically. And then I go to YouTube, this is what it looks like. You got like the biggest advertisement of your life right in front of you for the shittest game of all time. So you close that. But obviously you don't have to, and then if, if you go to something like this, this is the Achievement Hunter right now, probably have an ad on it. Yeah, what is that right there, that yellow bit? Okay, wait for it. You've got ads at the top right, they're normally bigger than that, but yeah. I'm just waiting for the ad to pop up now. There it is, you see what I mean? Like this little ad here on the main video, um, that will be gone. So obviously if I turn it back on, unpause, refresh. Right, so now I have ad block on, and you can see there's no advertisement at the top, there's no advertisement on the video, and there's no huge advertisement at the top either if I go to like YouTube. There you go, there's no huge advertisement at the top either. So it's actually brilliant, I absolutely love Adblock and also the new proxy things that I found. I hope this has helped you in some way so that you can watch like plenty of my mixes and everything now. Um, I know a few people had a few, like a lot of issues trying to listen to my podcast and all that sort of thing. So hopefully this video will help you and you'll be able to listen to them all. I will put all these podcasts in the description, like 1 to 5 for now. And yeah, I hope you all have a good day. Hope this has helped you, and I'll see you on my next video. Alright guys, bye bye!